Even though everyone knows the word retail, they may not know what retail marketing is and how it differs from other types of marketing. In short, retail refers to arrangements in which makers sell large quantities of goods to distributors at wholesale prices. Distributors then sell the goods to consumers for a higher price that covers storage, marketing, labor, and other costs. The retail business has been around for hundreds of years, but it keeps changing and growing to keep up with new trends and markets. In this piece, we'll talk about what retail marketing is and look at some examples that show how key parts of successful retail campaigns work. What is marketing for stores? Retail marketing is all the things a business does to get people and get them to buy its goods and services. The main parts of retail marketing efforts, which are often called the four PIS, are the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. Product, most retailers don't make their own goods, but the variety of items they sell is still a big part of what makes them successful. Customers want to know that you can give them what they want. Price. A retail market with so much competition puts a lot of downward pressure on prices. You might want to raise your prices so you can make more money on each item, but some of your customers will go to other stores that sell the same thing for less. Place. Place can mean where a store is located, but it can also mean how visible it is online. Getting to the top of Google search results for a certain keyword can be as valuable for online stores as having a prime spot on New York's Fifth Avenue. Promotion is all about connecting with customers and getting them more aware of your brand. People won't think of you when they need a product if they don't know you exist. Even after they are aware of your brand for the first time, they may need to interact with it a few more times before they feel comfortable enough to make their first buy. Retail Marketing Types There are some things that all retail marketing has in common, but you'll need to come up with a custom marketing plan that makes sense for your business. Remember that these efforts won't be as effective on their own. Make sure to use marketing analytics and integrate multiple platforms to reach more people and make more sales. Retail marketing in stores. If you have a physical storefront, it's important to take advantage of all the ways that place can help you promote. Putting some effort into store-based marketing will help you get more return customers and get people to spend more money each time they come in. Events. Retail stores are great places to hold events, and you can hold many different kinds of events based on your audience and brand image. In-store displays could be anything from a focus for a certain product to a digital board that shows a selection of social media posts from your customers. They let you spice up your shopping experience and try out different kinds of visual material. Samples are a great way to get people interested in a product they might not have looked at on their own. They work especially well for things like cosmetics, perfumes, and lotions that people will feel more safe buying after they've tried them out. Interactive boards are interactive displays in stores that let customers find out about prices and products, watch relevant movies, and more. When you go to the food store, you probably expect to find some items that are on sale. Major sales and discounts usually get a lot of advertising, but you don't always need to put signs outside your store for daily sales. Back-to-school displays are a great example of in-store marketing that works. At times of the year when people are interested, they put a range of related products in the same section. There are many ways in which unified screens work well. First, they make sure that customers can find what they want quickly and don't have to waste time looking around the store. Also, they give stores chances to promote different products together. If a customer comes in for a notebook, they'll probably look around the back-to-school area and leave with more than they came in for. By choosing the right iPad point-of-sale POS system for their shop, these merchants can speed up the payment and checkout process. Retail marketing outside of stores. Even if they don't have a shop, retailers still have a lot of ways to market their products. Traditional options include catalogs, signs, word of mouth, and even direct mail. Plus newer ways like websites, social media accounts, email campaigns, and SMS campaigns. Direct mail. One of the biggest challenges for retail marketers is making sure buyers know what they have to offer. Sending out physical catalogs and ads might seem old-fashioned, but it can be a cost-effective way for shops to let local buyers know about their products. Direct mail is a great way for shops to reach customers in a certain area. Posters. 
People usually think of posters as advertising for movies, fundraisers, and other events, but they can be used to promote almost any deal or sale. Make sure the text is big enough that people can read it from at least 5 or 10 feet away. TV ads. Marketing on TV is another good way to reach people in your area. Local TV ads can be very specific, and compared to things like posters and mailers, video material gives a lot more room for creativity. Press releases. You can write press releases for local writers if you have something unique or interesting to offer, like an event or a very special sale. They might write about the event or sale in their newspapers, or, if it's really important, on TV news, which could bring people to your shop. Word of mouth. Marketing through word of mouth is a very useful tool for both physical and online businesses. People trust the opinions of their friends, family, and neighbors much more than they believe advertisements. Referral programs are an easy way to give people an incentive to tell their friends about your business and get more leads from your current customers. Rewarding people for bringing in new customers is a simple way to get your current customers to tell their friends and family about your brand. Users get a $25 bonus from Stitch Fix for every new customer they bring in. Some companies also give a bonus to the person who was referred, in addition to the user who made the recommendation. People are more likely to try a new brand if they know that their first buy will get them a discount or other perk. If they like the goods after that, they'll probably come back and buy it again at full price. Digital store marketing even if you don't sell anything online, it's important to have a good website that shows off your brand and tells people what you have to offer. Remember that putting tracking pixels on your site will let you use information about how people use your site in retargeting ads. Social media marketing. With nearly 4 billion active social media users on Earth, you can't miss out on the large and varied audience that social media gives. Newsletters by email. Email marketing is one of the best ways to make money because for every $1 you spend on it, you get back about $42. A weekly or monthly newsletter will keep you in touch with your core group and help you get the most out of each lead over the long term. This email from Cosmetic Love is a great example of how to use email marketing. The header weekly deals tells people exactly what they can expect. The best promotion is one that stands out with a big picture and clear price information. After that, they show two more deals and discounts on the goods that people look at the most. Cosmetic Love gets a lot of information about their offer across in a message that readers can scan in 10 or 20 seconds. Three Retail Marketing Case Studies Now that you know the basics of store marketing, let's see how these ideas work in the real world. We'll look at Amundsen Sports, Divitris, and The Gap to see how they came up with effective retail ads that helped them reach their business goals. Amundsen Sports Amundsen Sports knew what they wanted their brand to look like, but they were having trouble getting that across in their marketing letters. Even when they were able to write a good message, it took too long to fix for it to be worth the effort. Amundsen's sales keep going up thanks to their new welcome, card abandonment, and order confirmation processes. One of the most reliable ways to improve sales is to use automated messages to keep customers interested. Divitris Rob Lynn, the founder of Divitris, switched his company to a full digital business model 10 years ago. This was long before this was a popular way for retail vendors to do business. Divitris used to lose a lot of money on abandoned carts, but with their new cart abandonment process, they are now able to get back a lot of those leads. In fact, 29% of their abandoned cart sequences lead to sales. The Divitress Abandoned Cart Workflow is different from standard single-channel campaigns because it combines email with either an SMS message or a push notification. The first two messages are sent as emails 10 hours apart. The third message is sent as an email and either a text message or a push reminder, depending on what the user wants. Gap One of the most well-known clothing names in the United States is The Gap. So, their marketing problems are a little different from those of a normal e-commerce seller. But the way they did marketing during the pandemic outbreak shows lessons that small businesses can use as well. One of the most interesting things about their latest results is that their offline sales have gone down by 16% compared to numbers from 2019 before the pandemic.
On the other hand, online sales went up by 82% and now make up 40% of their overall revenue. This rise has more than made up for the loss of sales in their stores, so both online and offline sales have gone up by 13% since 2019. A new relationship between Gap and Walmart shows how well the company can adjust to changing industry standards and customer tastes. The new Gap home line is only offered on Walmart.com, which helps them take advantage of the people who already shop at Walmart. Most importantly, Gap strategies show that even traditional retailers can change their image by connecting their current brand to new online channels.